Welcome to How-To Videos from Bugspray.com. Okay, about two minutes ago I saw a squirrel running up this tree. So this is a good location to uh, set a trap. Uh, you generally want to put them somewhere where the uh, squirrels are traveling. And so I'm going to show you how to set a trap, uh, bait the trap, and we're going to leave it here and see, uh, see if we can catch a squirrel today. So first thing I do is uh, open up the trap so I have access into the trap and in the front. I'm locating it close to this tree because once I've got the trap where I want it, uh, I can start setting it up. And uh, knowing that there's a squirrel traveling in this area makes it a sure bet that we're going to have a good, uh, success catching a squirrel. So you can use different things to attract a squirrel into a trap. I like to use a combination of things. I find that if I appeal to a variety of uh, factors, I'm going to catch them quicker. So uh, one of the things I like to use is uh, corn. And uh, one of my little tips, I'll just throw some of this out in front. Throw some in. Basically, I do this for two reasons. One, trailing the food into the trap gives the squirrel a little reward on the outside. But also, I like to strip it off so I can take the pecan paste. I'm going to put it on the top part of this corn cob. I've used this method for years very successfully. And sometimes I'll use the corn. Other times I'll use an apple. It really depends on the season. Uh, see here, i got a nice glob of the uh, pecan paste on here. About a, about a, I like to put about a tablespoon on here. That way it stays moist longer. It's got a really strong aroma. And squirrels go crazy for that. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to set it in the center of this space in the back of the trap. And I'm using the pecan paste. I find the pecan paste has a really strong aroma and it just drives the squirrels crazy. And the next thing I'm going to use is some trailing scent. And I'm going to put some small drops of this trailing into the trap, out in front of the trap. I'm going to trail it all the way up here, even onto this tree a little bit. This stuff has a very, very strong aroma. I can smell it very well, even from here. Uh, and an animal like a squirrel who has a much stronger sense of smell is going to just be going crazy for this smell right now. So I put out a, a drips of it going into the trap, onto the trip pan as well as on the cob itself uh, and just to sweeten it up a little bit and that's all it takes uh, I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of today we'll have a squirrel in here you know again locating this trap close to a tree where the squirrel is traveling uh, putting the bait in the front of the trap as a reward trailing it in so they know exactly how to get into the trap and then having a big reward in the back, uh, using something visual as well as uh, a paste that has a strong aroma and of course the trailing scent, giving it even that extra punch. Uh, this combination has worked really well for me for years and I think that if you uh, follow this approach, you too can be successful trapping squirrels and good luck with it. Thank you for watching this how-to video from Bugspray.com.